The ceasefire agreement between government forces and militias in eastern Ukraine is holding. Both have already freed hundreds of detainees, but the distrust between the warring sides is still causing tension. Paula Slea is in the region for us and joins me live now. Paula, it's the longest ceasefire we've seen in months in the region. How solid does it look right now? Well, certainly the ceasefire does seem to be holding. Let me remind you that it was signed into effect on Friday evening. At this stage, detainees are being exchanged in Ukraine, and this is in accordance with the truce. We don't know exactly how many prisoners have been handed over, but we have heard from the Ukrainian president, Petro Poroshenko, that some 1,200 Ukrainian soldiers have been handed to Kiev since Friday, but these numbers have been disputed. The Russian president, Vladimir Putin, spoke via telephone with the Ukrainian president. The two agreed that dialogue needed to continue. They updated each other on the situation. Poroshenko also said that he was boosting defense in the city of Mariupol. Now, he made these comments after visiting the city earlier on Monday. Mariupol has been a flashpoint of violence. Sporadic incidents have occurred there since the ceasefire went into effect. We're also monitoring the situation here in Donetsk. Now, both sides blame the other for these violations. They're been around a dozen but again it's very difficult to determine exactly what is the number at the same time there has been at least one civilian casualty in the city of Mariupol and some dozen people who've also been injured of course the truce is very precarious I've been speaking to international observers on the ground but they are satisfied that for now it is holding despite the fact that we have seen these flares up these flare-ups of violence